Hi everyone, my name is Heather Autumn and welcome to my kitchen and my channel. If the lighting looks a little harsh, uh, it's because I'm using some artificial lighting. I'm not a lighting person. I have a lot of professional lighting that I don't know how to use and it literally gets dark here in Massachusetts at like 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, no joke, here's what it looks like outside. Yeah, so there's my ring light and my ugly pantry right over here. And that's what it looks like outside right now. So yeah. So if you know of any good like YouTube channels on how to explain how to properly light your space, send them to me or link them in the description below. I'd love to see them. The reason I'm filming here and not somewhere out in Massachusetts is because typically the closer it gets towards the holidays and more importantly, the closer it gets towards blizzard and snow season, the less likely people plan things. And so Massachusetts kind of goes into a little bit of a slumber. It's sort of like go spend time with your family. And in my case, that's my cats. And <laughs> so I was looking for something to film and there really wasn't anything. And I was like, okay, so what am I gonna do? And for those of you who don't know, I was actually a blogger before this. I have the blog autumnbecomes.me which you can find in the description below. One post that got a lot of reviews that I'm gonna be showing you today was Alton Brown's Bourbon Pecan Pie. It's always one of my most hit posts during November because of course people like to make it for Thanksgiving. It's really good tasting. It got a lot of great reviews. A lot of people love it. They look it up online. And so I wanted to make it a video because I noticed that I took a lot of pictures of this whole process with a potato phone. So I'm gonna show you today how to put that together. I hope it makes it onto your Thanksgiving tables and let's get started. All right, so I put my hair up um, because it's really staticky with this dry air that's happening. And the first thing we're gonna assemble is the crust. And for that, you're going to need four tablespoons of unsalted butter, three and a half ounces of pecans or pecan pieces, six ounces of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, I don't know if you can see it, two tablespoons of ice water, and two tablespoons of bourbon, chilled. All right, so let me change camera angles and I will show you how this is all mixed up in the food processor. So first things first, we're going to take our butter and put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. While the butter is in the freezer, we're gonna go and deal with these pecans. Do you wanna take these pecans, put them in our food processor, and pulse them for around six or seven times. All right, so that's the consistency you want. Next is our flour. Let's put that in there. And our salt. And we pulse for another four to five times. And last but not least, we are going to add our water and our bourbon. And I just realized I forgot to put in the butter, so we're going to add the butter that was in the freezer to the mixture. All right, that's what we're looking for. Something that's gonna hold its shape when it's all pressed together. Looks good to me. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mixture and we're going to put it in a gallon size Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer for around 30 minutes just to get it nice and cool and ready to make into our pie crust. All right, so while we have our dough in the fridge, we're going to start working on these spiced pecans. So the first thing we're going to need is as follows. You'll need one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of this ground cumin, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of this ground cinnamon. Then I got this Valencia orange peel and you'll be putting a half teaspoon of this in there. All right, and then we have one pound of pecans, four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Next is a quarter cup of light brown sugar. Then we have two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. And lastly, two tablespoons of water. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is line a baking sheet with parchment, and you'll wanna mix all of your ingredients together. 
and just set that aside. Okay, so the next thing they say is to put uh, all of your cons in a cast iron skillet. I don't have one or one that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna use a regular pan over medium heat. You're gonna wanna watch it and stir it frequently for about four to five minutes just to get a nice toast on these pecans. them all nicely coated with that butter. Looks pretty good to me. Next we're going to add our spice mixture. Just all kind of distribute that. And you want to coat these in that. I wish I could tell you how these smell. They're amazing. Next you want to add both the light and the dark sugar as well as the water. All right guys, um, change of plans. Uh, I think I'm, I'm okay. Just now, I'm, I'm literally sitting down in a chair because just now I went to get some water. So I heard this loud pow from my knee, like pow. And I could just feel the blood draining from my face and I started getting dizzy. And thankfully I was by my couch, so I sat down. It's not in pain, but I don't think I can walk on it and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I contacted my sister, because she works in the medical field, and I told her what happened. She was like, yeah, you might want to see a doctor tomorrow if you can. And I'm like, okay. The thing is though, I literally can't put weight on it, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna move around. I, I have Khan sitting here, and I have the dough in the fridge, but I don't think I can finish this episode. So I'm gonna call it tonight. This was totally unexpected. I, I literally can't walk on that foot. I. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna stop the video for now and continue it maybe tomorrow. But this was this was not the plan. Uh, bye for now. So my knee is still, I can't put any weight on it. It feels, it's like it's not attached to me properly. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be doing any activities on that for a while. So that's cool. That's real fun. Um, I have, you know, part of my pie done. All I want to do is finish that and just make this episode, but it looks like that's not going to happen. And this has got to be the weirdest post I've ever made. <laughs>so i had my very good friend elsa who you might have seen from canopy lake park she drove me to the to the hospital so uh, i have a 10 15 appointment and i guess we'll see how this goes all right so pixar didn't happen here i am in the doctor's office they asked like what my pain was and i was like it's kind of like a three but it's like swollen and like a bruise but then if i step on it wrong it's bad so <sighs> I don't know what they're gonna do. But anyway, yeah, so this is why uh, there's no video on time, I guess. Or maybe if I get this edited really fast, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. So anyway, yeah, this is what an American doctor's office looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. Um, the doctor came in, she did all kinds of stretches and pulling and everything on my joints. And what they were really concerned with and what I was really concerned with was that I had torn my ACL, which is a ligament in your knee. And it's common for athletic people to tear. And so I was like, this is my number, this is my time's up. Uh, but fortunately, it looks like I just overused my knee. I've been doing a lot of gym work. Um, so it turns out that I just stressed it out really bad. Badly. They suspect what I did is sprained it and um, they're prescribing some ibuprofen and Tylenol and um, a really heavy duty leg brace that I'm going to be wearing I guess for a while and uh, lots of rest. I'm sad because I just got back into this and now I have to rest but I do have a habit of overdoing it with stuff especially when I'm like I'm now going to get healthy. So the good news is I don't need x-rays, I don't need surgery, um, it's just I'm able to hold my weight on it. Plan is to head home and to use the rest of the day to uh, make Maybe finish up the pie that we were making <laughs> and go from there. Hello everyone, so I'm back in the kitchen. I have a leg brace on, I have my crutches nearby. Oh my gosh, so dramatic. Um, but I really wanted to finish this pie because it's pretty much almost done. We have the filling to do. So we have our candy pecans here, they're all done. And we also have our uh, dough in the fridge. 
it sat overnight so it might need to be warmed up I'm not sure but uh, for now I want to kind of continue on with the recipe so for the pecans that we did with that we spiced yesterday they say take out two ounces I actually took out four because these are gonna go on the outside of the pie and I want to make sure I had enough to line the pan and then with the rest of them which is all of this you're going to want to chop it up into chunky bits uh, that you're gonna mix in with our filling All right, so now we're gonna start assembling our filling. I already have all of my pecans chopped pretty thin. So now I'm gonna go over the ingredients list with you uh, for the filling. So the first thing you're going to need is three large eggs, and that you're gonna combine three and a half ounces of sugar. And next I'm gonna combine six ounces of maple syrup or golden syrup, whichever you call it. Next is four ounces of melted butter, slightly cooled. One tablespoon of more bourbon. Next is one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And lastly is some kosher salt, which is about a quarter teaspoon of that. And then we whisk it all together. I have this kind of tart pan that I just got. It has a removable base, which is nice. Here's it without the base. And uh, so that's what we're gonna be using. I think it's nine inches across and two inches deep. All right, so I greased this pan a little bit and now we're gonna take the dough and as carefully as possible, I even heard that maybe ripping the side would be best. So I'm gonna try that. And then um, I was told that it's best to kind of try to push it up the walls. So it's gonna be crumbly and that's fine. Okay, now that our pie is pretty well set, I have it going up the sides a little. The next thing we're gonna do is take our pecans and we're just gonna put them in, make sure it's nice and even. And then we take our filling mixture and we're just going to pour it on top. Just like that. So we just wanna give it a good shake, make sure it's all for the most part evenly distributed. We're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So start. All right, so our oven has preheated and now I'm just gonna pop the pecan pie in the oven for around 20 minutes. So once you have the pecans lining the rim, you wanna pop it back into the oven at 350 for another 10 minutes, or at least until the center of the pie reads at around 200 degrees. All right, so even though I put a toothpick in the center and it came out clean, uh, it's gonna need three and a half to four hours to cool down and set. So for that reason, I'm actually going to pause this here and we will pick it up tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's the next day of our dramatic pie making and it's all finished. Um, I had it sit overnight to cool and stabilize and it's ready to cut into, so I'm gonna show you that. All right, so with this, I can just pop out the bottom. Just like that. And I think we're ready to cut into it. Get a nice big piece. All right, so time to give it a try. Hmm, mmm. Spicing the pecans was a massive move. Like I can taste the cinnamon. Um, the cumin actually gives it kind of a unique kind of spicy kick without it being like spicy. I don't know. It has the, the feeling of that it's gonna be spicy without the spice part, if that makes any sense. It's really good, it's sweet. I can taste the bourbon flavors. I mean, of course it's been the filling, it's in the, the pie crust and um, it's moist and just, it's a really good pie. So I hope this was a fun recipe. 
Again, so sorry for all the drama. Um, I was totally not planned. I was not expecting to go to the hospital. If you like this video, tell me in the comments below. And uh, as always, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It all helps my channel and it tells you when I have a new video coming out. Also, if you're the type who likes to see recipes written out, uh, please visit my blog, which I will link in the description below. And I'm gonna have all the ingredients and all the steps listed out. So thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.